All right, it is time for my weekly what sold video. I put these videos out every Friday to let you know what I sold on the four platforms that I resell on Depop, Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. Hopefully this video can help you to see what is currently selling, helping you know what to pick up in the thrift store so that you can make more money in your reselling business. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather. I am a full-time reseller. I live in Iowa and mostly thrift over in Omaha, Nebraska. I do three videos a week, so if that sounds interesting to you, please consider subscribing down below. You can hit the bell next to it to get notifications every time I put out a new video. I do mostly thrift hauls and what sold videos. I did film a thrift with me that's coming out on Sunday, so for those of you that have been asking for that, come back on Sunday. We'll see how it goes. I haven't done one in a long time, but I actually found like some pretty good stuff and like finding stuff like on camera, which is usually does not happen. So <laughs> make sure you guys come back for that. Um, please give this video a thumbs up. That does help push it out into YouTube algorithm. And then a comment anytime throughout the video also will help. I just heard Ellie attacking our cats. So that's great, our dog. Okay, just got done with my shipping. I just wanna give a few minutes to talk about the company Gyro Pack. I use these guys for my shipping supplies lately for my poly mailers, which I use for eBay. Um, and Mercari, Depop, I will use them for. The more you get, the more you can save. So if you go to their website, you can use the link down below my description to save 10% off of your orders. Make sure you use that link so that you're saving money. Um, they do have some cute prints. They have lots of cute colors. They have all different sizes. So I'm currently using this Daisy print for the smaller size. These are super cute, very good for spring, summer. I also have these really big orange ones which I've been using for coats, which is amazing because I don't have that big of boxes laying around and nobody has complained about coats getting shipped out in a poly mailer. So I have those. And then I've been using these pink um, thank you bags with the handle on the top. I like these for bigger dresses or maybe some jeans. And then it's got the handle. I feel like these are so cute. So there's tons of different options, like I said, down below. Make sure you check that out with the link um, and get yourself some shipping supplies ordered. All right, let's get into the sales. My sales were not as good as the last couple of weeks, but that's okay. They actually have started off today, Friday morning, like pretty good. I got some good sales going on Poshmark. So I'm happy about that, but I know that this is just like normal reselling. Like you can't have really good, amazing weeks every week. That's just literally not how it goes. So I'm glad for the high times to balance out the low times. It definitely wasn't like super low this week, but it was uh, quite a bit lower than it has been. So um, Depop, I had two sales. First up was a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch shorts. I just picked these up recently. They were a size 10. They were the Curve Love High Rise Dad shorts. And they sold for $25 very quickly. And then I sold this vintage St. John shirt. This was a very old tag, it had like brown lettering on it. I've never seen a tag that old. It was just a polyester. It was a size 12, blue and green, like checkered print. And that sold for $29.80. So I think that was maybe a 15% offer that I sent them. So on Depop, when people like things, I usually send a 15% offer. I did try since it was slow this week doing it a like sale slash promotion. I put all of my store in 20% off, but all it was doing, like it was getting, I feel like it was getting more likes, but then if I would go to send an offer off that, like it still wanted, I would still have to send an even lower offer. And I was like, I don't want to go below 20% for right now. So I don't know. I just took it back off and I'm doing my normal offers on there. So that's it on Depop. And then Mercari, I just had a couple as well. So pretty slow in Mercari. First was an Eileen Fisher size large shirt. This was organic cotton green. It did sell for $38. And then I sold these pair of mother jeans in a size 28. I just found these recently. Um, I was going around a store and I know that this other reseller that sells similar stuff to me went through the jeans. They didn't find these. They were this um, blue dropout boyfriend jeans and they sold for $64. That does include free shipping. So I think I pay like six to $7 with ground advantage for free shipping. Comps on mother jeans are kind of all over sometimes, unless they're like really, really new. Um, and so these ones were anywhere from, I think like 40 to 60, maybe 70, I don't know. But I took the offer because I made a really fast sale and you'll see that in some of my Poshmark sales, like maybe taking lower offers in order to get quicker 
sales, which I like to do a lot of the times, unless I know like for sure, like this is always selling at like $80, $80, $80. Like I'm not going to take 50. But like if it, there's a range of like sold comps, I'll still take a lower one just to get it moving. Like when I watch um, tech and sports videos, he talks a lot and says like, do you want all of the money some of the time or some of the money all the time? Like I'll take some of the money all the time <laughs> because that's what keeps my business moving. That's how I make money. That's how I get my bank account bigger. So especially when it's something that I can find like fairly regularly, like how I find democracy jeans all the time. Like I'll take, I took a lower offer. I think of like 22 this week because even though I had them listed for 35, but I'm like, I can go out next week at the thrift store and most likely just replace those and find more. So anyway, that's my thoughts on all of that. I don't know what you guys do. Let me know how your sales were this week. I feel like I've heard from others that eBay was kind of slow for them too. So let me know what your experience has been. We'll do eBay next and then we'll do Poshmark last for this week. I do have an auction going on, which I very rarely do auctions, but this was a belt buckle. It was a vintage belt buckle from the 90s. Um, PRCA, I think it said like rodeo champion. It came on a Tony Lama belt. And first it was like, oh, this is just cute. Like I'll sell it for like rodeo season or something. And then my son was like, mom, you maybe should look up that belt buckle because it could be something cool. And I was like, yeah, maybe I should. And sold comps were kind of all over, but some were selling like $100, $200, $300. So I put it on auction. I paid, I think $3.99 for the belt. And I started it at 99 cents because I'm like, I, I just felt like I know it's going to get bid up. So it's ending tonight around 9 o'clock. Right now it's at $54.53. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'll update you guys later tonight what it finishes at. It has 16 watchers. So that's kind of exciting. I don't hardly use auction very much. I would only use it if it's something like in really high demand and like really collectible maybe. Or like something very rare. Or maybe if you have like really old inventory you're trying to get rid of. Otherwise, I would not normally say auction. Um, so yeah, let's go on to my eBay sales. Okay, first up, I sold this John Mark top this morning. This is exciting because I've never sold this brand. I'm pretty sure I've passed it up at the thrift store. But I had an Instagram viewer message me and say something about how I've never seen you mention this brand. It sells pretty good for me. So that's amazing in the reselling community, how we can help each other out. I mean, I've been reselling for six years now and it's like, you always can be learning something. This was like a watercolor style boho kind of relaxed fit top. It sold for $40, my full asking price with a 20% off coupon in I think one day, maybe two days. So I would look for that. Let me show you the tag. Um, I don't, because I don't know if I showed this one in a video. I know I had somebody ask me in my what sold videos. It's like, is that going to focus? Okay, that's what it looks like. Um, if I can show the tags. I do show all of my tags in my thrift haul videos. So I would say do that because in these ones, I just do a screenshot of the sale with a price. So you usually don't see the tag. But I show almost everything I pick up in my thrift haul videos. So make sure you watch those. Okay, next was a brand Majestic Filatures. I'm not picking this up as much anymore. It's just not moving very quickly. This was, they say, small tan linen silk top and it sold for $20. Next up were a pair of New With Tags Teva sandals in a size 7. These were brown leather sandals, perfect for upcoming hiking outdoor season. I couldn't find super good comps or very many on this style. I did seem a little bit older. They did sell pretty quickly for $35, so I was happy with that. Next up was a Torrid shirt in a size 2X. This was a green collarless jacket. It was a midline length and it sold for $21. I'm passing on almost all Torrid these days. Um, the only thing, so if you've been watching, you know I've been mostly trying to pick up stuff that I can list for at least $35. Not sell, but at least list for that and then maybe take offers from there. But like in the summertime, I am taking, I don't know if I would say taking lower offers, but picking up things that would sell lower just so I have things in my closet that are spring, summer, like for example, a lot of shorts, most shorts I'm not going to be able to sell for $35 or more, but I need to have stuff in my closet that's like for the season. Otherwise, I'm just not going to make as many sales, I don't feel like. So kind of just depends on the item. Um, next up on eBay, I sold this Aretta Silent Journey Kimono. I've sold this brand a couple of times before. One time I got it new with tags and it was apparently sold at Chico's. 
So I don't know if it's sold at more places than that, but kimonos sell really good for me in spring, summer. This was a size large, extra large, and it sold for $35. Next up was a new with tags Banana Republic shirt in a size small. This was a yellow bell sleeve top. I got it because I thought it was cute and it's new with tags and it retailed for a lot. And that was a dumb idea because this brand does not sell very good for me. I sold it for $15. I had it for quite a while, so glad to move that out. Next up was a soft surrounding shirt in a size petite, extra large. This was a tan, gauzy, oversized, minimalist type top. It sold for $25. I sold this torrid jacket in a size 2X. This was from one of Ryan's bins. It was a ruched sleeve um, Lyocell linen blend jacket, and it sold for $16. Next up were a pair of Kuru shoes, K-U-R-U. So I just picked these up recently, kind of an outdoor hiking type brand. They sold pretty quickly for $40 with my 20% off coupon, so I was happy about that. Next up was an Athleta vest. This was called the Boundless Vest. It wasn't a size small. It was like an olive green color, um, mid-length, also sold for $40 with 20% off coupon, so that was great. Eileen Fisher jacket. This was a wool mohair blend, so... Some stuff with wool is still selling, but I'm noticing stuff more with the cotton, linen, more lighter fabrics. This one was a blue jacket in a size medium, sold for $50 with my 20% off coupon. Next up was a pair of Athleta pants in a size 14. These were the Trekkie North pants. Um, I do like to look for Athleta in larger sizes and newer styles, basically not leggings. That seems to do best for me. These ones sold for $29. Next up was an Eddie Bauer coat in a size extra large tall. It was a wool blend hooded coat and it sold for $40. So it's still cold in some places. Like it was like literally in the 30s here the other day. So some people are still wanting to buy stuff like that. Um, a Lafayette 148 jacket. I barely pick up this brand anymore. This was a size large. It was an orange red lightweight jacket sold for $10. I had it forever. Do not recommend. Um, a pair of Democracy jeans. These were in a size 16. Absolution high-rise bootcut jeans. They sold for $25 extremely fast in like a day. Next up were a pair of Anthropology pants. These came out of Ryan's bins. I did decide to list these ones. They were a size 10 cream embroidered high-rise crop pants and they sold for $30. I sold this Pure Collection sweater. It was black 100% cashmere in a size 10. That sold for $22. Next up were a pair of K Deer leggings. I just picked these up when I was out shopping with my niece. She's like, they remind me of the Wicked Witch of the West from Wizard of Oz. <laughs> they were black and green striped. Um, that's classic K Deer pattern, the striped ones. They sold really fast for $35 with my 20% off coupon. So happy for a quick sale on those. Next up was an Antonio Milani sweater. I like never get this brand, but this was cashmere, which is why I picked it up. It wasn't a size large. Sold for $35 with a coupon. So highly recommend having a coupon on your eBay store. If you don't know how to do that, on my Instagram stories, I have it saved as a highlighted story. Um, you can find that on my profile and I show, actually I think on that one I'm showing how to send out a coupon as a newsletter. But it is pretty easy to do under your promotions tab on eBay. So if you guys don't know how to set up a coupon, let me know and I can add it in a future video. Um, next up was a new with tags Patagonia shirt. This was a size medium. It was women's organic cotton and it sold for $28. This was something that I think was an eBay glitch. It was that vintage goofy sweatshirt with the Hanes tag. If you guys remember, I think I showed it in a recent haul and somebody said, I want, not somebody, I was watching tech and sports video and he said recently on eBay, if you were listing stuff out of your drafts, things were, the price was changing from what you originally had it when you made it go live and I think that's what happened with this because I had it listed for $35 in my drafts and it went live and all of a sudden it was like almost right after it was listed, it sold. And I was like, oh, cool. And it sold for $9. And I was like, what? Like I did not list that for $9. So that sucked, but I'm like, I have to just ship it out and sell it because ultimately I should have been double checking things, I guess. And the buyer, I mean, they paid for it and everything. So I'm just like, ugh. So that was kind of like an eBay fail of the week. Um, next up is a J. Crew sweater blazer. This was a size medium. I love selling these. This was a um, tan color and it sold for $48. I sold this Lily Pulitzer dress in a size four. This was the Sophia sleeveless shift dress. Not all Lily Pulitzer sells that good. 
This was a style that I've had for almost a year and it finally sold for $20. So I've been looking up the Lily Pulitzer styles and then I've been looking up sell through rate on eBay to make decisions in the thrift store if I want to pick them up or not. Next up was a vintage Disney shirt in a size 14, 16. This was a Mickey Unlimited tag, um, like a denim chambray shirt sold for $20. I sold another pair of Democracy jeans. These were in a size 14. They said Absolution underneath the size tag. They were a high rise boot cut stretch and they sold for $28 if I didn't say that. Um, Zaya Active Leggings, do not recommend picking up anything from Zaya Active anymore. These were a size 14, 16 gray camo high rise crop. They sold for $8. Um, next up was the brand Shredley. I don't think I mentioned this in my video. It is coming from March 15th, which was last Friday, but I think this sold after I put out my video. So hopefully these next few aren't repeats. If they are, sorry, I, my memory is horrible. Um, Shredley is a biking cycling brand. I've never heard of it. I've never sold it. I found it at a thrift store. Tag looked interesting. Quality seemed good. Decided to pick them up and try them. These were a size 12 blue floral shorts. They sold for $38 in a day. So I would be on the lookout for the brand Shredley. Um, next up was an Eileen Fisher tank top in a size 1X. This was a red organic linen boxy tank top and it sold for $28. I sold this IC by Connie K shirt in a size medium. This was a neon green loose fit shirt and it sold for $32. Oh, I hear Ellie barking at the neighbor dog. Next up was an Eileen Fisher size 1X purple Lyocell. I put spring and Easter in my keywords because that's kind of the vibes it gave me. It sold for $30. And then I sold this Alberto Macaulay shirt in a size medium. I picked this up for style thinking it was like a very Y2K style, which I would agree that it is. This one sold for $25. Okay, and I think that's it on eBay. So let's move on to Poshmark next. Okay, Poshmark this morning, I'll tell you, I've had, geez, how many sales this morning? Today's the 22nd, right? Yes. So I have had one, two, three, four, five, six sales this morning as and it's 9, 11 a.m. So <laughs> that's exciting to me. If this trend continues, I could have a really good Poshmark day. So we'll see. Um, first up was a Bowden dress in a size 14. This was a long sleeve minimalist type dress. I could not find a style name. It was the newer Bowden tag. And I looked up the number on the tag and it didn't pull up anything. And then it was like super hard to look up for the style because it was just plain black. So I listed it for 35, accepted an offer of 26. Um, next up is the brand Lunya. This is definitely a Bolo brand. I sold my Lunya pants very quickly. This was a shirt in a size small. It was organic Pima cotton and it sold for $38 with a stain. So that's great. Um, next up was a bundle of two items. I think yesterday, since my middle of the week was so slow, I used, I went on to Poshmark on my desktop. I added, I think the past 1000 buyer, not buyers, like people who've interacted with my closet. I added their likes to a bundle and then I sent off 30% off of bundles, which did result in some sales for me. So the first up was this pair of Lululemon shorts in a size six. These were the groove shorts, definitely an older style. And then a pair of Jay McLaughlin pants. These were a blue white printed pant. They sold together for $49. I didn't make like a ton from that, I don't think, but definitely some. Um, I also sold these Teo sneakers and some of these, I don't know if they're from the 30% off or if they're just regular sales. But anyway, I was just letting you know, I did do that. It did produce some sales. So that could be an idea for you guys to do in your Poshmark closet. Teo sneakers in a size nine and a half green st or gray. They had a star print on the side. They sold for $14. I don't know that brand. I think it's going to do better in sandals for me spring, summer, but the sneakers haven't done that well for me. Next was a vintage Jay Peterman dress in a size eight. This was a tan linen button front dress. Very vintage looking. I thought it would sell for more, but it has been listed for quite a bit now. It sold for $25. Next up was a Badgley Mishka dress, which I would not recommend picking up in basically anything. Um, this was in a size two. It came in a thread of designer box, which I lost footage of. So I'm really sorry about that because one of my other designer boxes, I got like really good stuff. I got Valentino. I got Burberry. I got Prada <laughs> and I lost the footage, but I just ordered another thread of designer box. So we're going to hope that I could film that and not lose anything so I can show you guys what I got in the box. Anyway, that came in there. I was not super excited about it. It was not that cute. It was brown sequin. 
It was kind of a 90s style, so maybe that helped it sell, but it only sold for $20. Next up is a bundle of two Lululemon shorts for $50. I just picked these up recently at a spring sale, a thrift store that I went to on Saturday. They were hotty hot shorts. They were an older style, um, where well, the black ones were at least. So I had them both listed a little bit higher, but they did take advantage of that 30% off bundle offer. And also I had to list the pink and the light blue ones lower because they were missing the liner which made them almost sheer and like see-through. So I sold them both for $50 and I paid $5 each for them. So $10 into 50 within like two days is really good for me. Again, I'll take some of the money all of the time. I'm not gonna be waiting out. I could have possibly got more for them if I would have waited, but with sales being slow during the week, I'm like, yes, I am ready to make money this weekend. I've just spent over $1,000 on Metallica tickets. So my husband's favorite band is Metallica. They're coming back to the US this um, spring summer. My nephew has been getting very into music and for my nieces and nephew birthdays, I buy them experiences or I do experiences with them rather than gifts. And it's my nephew's 16th. So I was like, let's do something kind of big. So um, he's gonna go with my husband to see Metallica. He's been getting very into music and drumming and all of that. So that'll be really cool for them. But I was like, you know what? I could have got seats that were cheaper and farther away, but I'm like, it's my husband's favorite band. Like my nephew is going to be so into it. Like this is why I do this job so I can buy cool birthday presents so I can go on cool vacations, like so I can go out to eat. Like that's why I do this for like the fun stuff. I, I do buy gas and groceries with this money, but like mostly it's fun stuff. So anyway, all that being said, Lululemon shorts, $40 or $50 for two of them. Um, next up, a pair of Flying Monkey jeans. These are sold at the Buckle. I don't hardly ever get these, but they were a high-rise flare jean. So I feel like the style was pretty good. They sold for $30. I sold this Lululemon skirt in a size 2. This was the Pace Setter skirt. I got this at the same time as those shorts from the sale. And they that one sold for $33. I sold this Ariat pair of jeans in a size 33 long. These were a mid-rise bootcut jean, sold for $31. Next up was another bundle of two items for $50. I am really lucky with this buyer because she actually bundled three things together and one of them was a tank top that I didn't have. And so I had to, she didn't, she said she couldn't find anything else in my closet she wanted. So we canceled the order and I was like, oh, and I'm like, I can bundle the other two things again and send you a different offer. She's like, okay. And she didn't respond for like 45 minutes. And I was like, oh great. She's not gonna come back and buy this stuff. But then she did. So, so excited about that. It was a new with tags torrid burgundy jacket and then a pair of Judy blue jeans in a size 14. So those both sold together for $50. So I'm really excited about that. Next up were a pair of Athleta size 12 tan Chelsea cargo lined joggers. I thought these would have done better, but comps were like 18 to 30. Not that great. Um, they did sell for $25. So glad to move those really quickly. Um, next up, a pair of Torrid pants. They were chiffon, flowy, high-rise, floral, in a size 1X. This came from Ryan's bins. They sold for $7. So now you're seeing why I just want to send his stuff to thread up or do something else with it because I don't want that low price stuff in my closet. Here's those pair of Democracy jeans. I told you that I accepted a lower offer for. These were a size 16 Absolution straight leg jeans. They were green and they sold for $22. Next up were a pair of Cole Haan Spectator Camo Calf Hair Shoes. I've had these for probably nine months or a year and they sold for $5. So yeah, a lot of Cole Haan does not sell that great. It doesn't sell for very fast. Look up the style. That was dumb. Um, next up is a pair of Birkenstock shoes. These were really exciting. These sold in a, or these were in a size 38. They were a black Mary Jane style. I had them listed for $55. Someone offered me $49, which is an amazing offer. So I went ahead and accepted that and I sold those very quickly. Next up were a pair of Can Can jeans in a size 30. These were a high rise flare. I had these for probably a few months at this point. They sold for $22. I'm not picking up any Can Can anymore. It would have to be something like a really, really good style, possibly new, possibly a bigger size, but like still, even these didn't sell for that much or that quickly. Um, next up were a pair of Eileen Fisher sandals in a size nine and a half. Eileen Fisher shoes do not sell for me. I don't know why I got these. They sold for $10. I've had them forever. Bye. Um, next pair, however, were very good. These are a pair of Free People boots. They were a size 40. They were leather over the knee slouch boots. They sold for $75. So that is amazing. Some of the Free People shoes can sell for a lot of money. So 
look up at the style. I think I paid $20 for these at a consignment store. So really excited about that. I sold these Miss Me shorts in an hour, I think. They were a size 29 um, and they sold for $29. Next up were a pair of Jimmy Choo sandals. These were a size eight and a half gold sparkle sandal. They sold for $34. I've had these for a while. Jimmy Choo doesn't sell, even though it's a really expensive designer brand, most of their stuff doesn't sell for that much money or for very quickly. So keep that in mind. Um, next up was a Miracle Suit swimsuit, which is a bolo swimsuit brand, I would say. This was a size 16 black pink paisley wrap swimsuit and it sold for $45 used. So that's amazing. Um, next up was an Eileen Fisher cardigan in a size large. This was a gray linen cotton open sweater sold for $24. I sold this pair of Can Can shorts in a size small. These came from Ryan's Bins. Blue stretch high rise so sold for $12. Um, next up was a Jay McLaughlin shirt in a size large. This is a linen blend diamond print shirt and it sold for $26. Sold this cabbie shirt in a size small. This was a yellow tie-dye sweatshirt type material sold for $13. Next up was an Athleta jacket in a size large. This was the shanty jacket. I don't know how long I've had this, maybe four to five months. I wouldn't pick it up today probably because it moved really slowly. It sold for $24. I like to sell things in like 90 days or less is my goal, unless it's something that's gonna sell for like hundreds of dollars. Um, next up, Athleta pants in a size four, black balance jogger, high rise sold for $9. Again, the slow Athleta. Um, Democracy pants in a size 14, tan ab technology, high rise stretch skinny sold for $24. Next up with a pair of RVT overalls. This is like a vintage, 90s or 2000s brand. I got a pair of like full overalls. These were the shorts. These ones sold for $27. And then the regular length overalls sold really quickly too. So maybe keep an eye on that with like a vintage brand. Next up was a pair of Ula Johnson pants. I felt like this should be a bolo, but I feel like it's not selling as fast as it used to. Let me know down below if you have any experience recently selling Ula Johnson. These were a size four cream button fly high rise pants and they sold for $23 and they sat for at least six months. So I don't know about that brand anymore. Um, Land's End sweater in a size three X. This was new with tags, which is why I got it because it was also linen and plus size sold for $24. I'm going to hiccup. <coughs> okay. Um, I sold this Zara sweater, which I hardly ever get Zara, but this had a shark on the back of it and it had on the front, it said love at first bite. So very novelty print sold for $37. Next up are a pair of Spanx jeans in a size extra large tall. I would be really careful with the Spanx jeanish ankle leggings, which is what these were. I got these because of the tall and extra large size. They did sell for $45. Comps on the smaller sizes are not that good and they don't sell as fast. So I did leave a pair of size medium of those behind recently. Next up were a pair of Spanx like shapewear shorts. These came from one of Ryan's bins in a size extra large. Black high rise slimming sold for $12. I sold this Eileen Fisher size medium gray white tensil striped top for $16. Next up was an Alice and Olivia shirt in a size large. This was a cold shoulder top ruffle. Maybe this came from a designer box. I don't know because I feel like I would not get this unless it was really old, but it only sold for 10. So that was bad. Um, next up was a Duluth trading pants, women's size 10. These were the Black Hill water repellent um, pants. I did look up the style on these because most of Duluth trading isn't worth it for me to pick up. These ones sold for $28. Um, another $28 sale. This was a pair of Eileen Fisher pants in a size petite medium. These were Lyocell linen blend and they were a crop. So that was a good sale there. Another $28 sale. I think what's happening here is I list this stuff for $35 and my Poshmark automation that I use Prime Lister is sending out 20% offers, which equals to $28, 28 off of 35. So if you're interested in using that Poshmark automation tool, that information is down below in my description. You can go ahead and click on that link and save 30% off of your first month. I would highly recommend. I've really been enjoying it. Um, next up is a pair of cabbie jeans again. These were in a size, wait, did I talk about the last ones? They were the size 10 and they were the high straight jeans. Sold for 28. The next one sold for 32. They were the high low crop, which I've sold before and they do really good. Um, they sold fast. They were in a size four and they sold again, like I said, for $32. Next up was a Hot Topic collaboration coat. I don't think I talked about this last week. I think this is the last thing. 
um, if I did, uh, sorry, again, um, Outlander Hot Topic Coat. It was a collaboration with a show. This was a size large green faux fur um, trimmed coat, and it sold for $80. So that is amazing. I think that's it. I see a couple other sales on the 15th, but I think I talked about them last week. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, leave a comment down below. Make sure you come back on Sunday for that thrift with me video. It's going to be fun. We'll see how I do editing it. Last time I edited a video like that and put music in the background, I got roasted. People said it sounded like circus music. So uh, I guess I'll try to find some better background music. I don't know. I'm not very good at that. So I'll try my best. So be forgiving if it's like sucks, but I'll try my best. Okay. I'll see you guys later.